Hi, my name is Nasser Karma. I'm currently a graduate on the undergraduate medicine course at King's College London. I'm 22 years old and I want to start making YouTube videos. I've been through the process of applying to both UK and Canadian medical schools and I've learned a lot of things along the way. I think I might be able to help some people out, give them insight into my experience or maybe some tips that they didn't know of. Hopefully this will be a fun thing to do. Okay, so just a little bit of background about me. I was born in Vancouver in July of 1995 and I soon after moved to Greece two months later uh, for my dad's work. That's where I spent eight, almost 18 years of my life uh, for lower school, middle school, and high school. I went to a British school, which means that I did the IGCSEs and then the IB program. When I was leaving high school in my final year, and I had to decide where to apply to, um, I always knew I wanted to do medicine, so at least that part was easy for me. I was applying to the UK as my main choice. I really wanted to go to the UK because all my friends were going there, it was the only schools I'd heard about um, from my careers, uh, like center type thing at my high school. And it was the only thing I knew about really. I knew they had great medical schools and I was just really excited to go. I applied to those schools. I took the UK and the BMAP, but at the time I didn't take them too seriously because I had just done really well in high school in general. And because I was always such a good student, I thought I was immune to doing bad on tests. And so I didn't put in enough effort into the UK and the BMAP. I got a very average score. As a result, I didn't get accepted into any UK medical schools. I did get an interview at Cambridge, but I completely botched that because I was just so nervous. It was my first time in an interview type setting. I didn't get into the UK and I had Canada as my backup. I had applied to a bunch of Canadian schools and I got into all of them out of high school. Uh, UBC, so University of British Columbia, University of Montreal, is that what it's called? McGill. McGill, sorry. Uh, UBC, McGill, University of Toronto, University of Ottawa, I believe. It's also important to remember that in Canada, it's a four-year undergraduate degree. So I went there when I was 17, I came out when I was 21, and now I'm starting medical school at the age of 22. Yeah, Toronto was really a lot, a lot of fun, had a great time, and there are so many experiences to share from there, but I guess we'll leave those for another video. So after getting accepted to all of the undergraduate schools in Canada that I had applied to, I decided to go to the University of Toronto because I had done a two-week summer camp experience back in 2012. I'd gone there with my twin sister and we had a lot of fun. So it was the only school that I actually knew something about, and I was like, all right, let's 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 go there, let's try it. So I went to the University of Toronto. I had a fantastic time there. It was a really tough first and second year because there was a lot of a culture change moving from Europe to Canada and also the school was extremely, extremely hard. Um, if anyone knows anything about U of T, you'll know how difficult that school is. Did my undergraduate there, somehow got through. And then when I came to my third year, so when I had to start thinking about where I wanted to go for medical school, I was thinking about applying again, both to the UK and Canada. And I knew that Canadian medical schools were extremely, extremely competitive. I had heard so many stories about friends, family, peers that had applied with really good GPAs, really good research, really good extracurriculars, everything, and still gotten rejected. So I knew that I wanted to apply to the UK as um, as a back. Even though the UK was probably my first choice at the time, I felt like I needed a change um, from Canada. I'd been there for four years already and I wasn't sure if I could spend another five years um, in that country. I wanted to experience something new. I wanted to travel. Um, so I think the UK was my first choice at the time. But at the end of the day, I was gonna go to whatever medical school accepted me because I'd already spent four years not in medical school doing an undergraduate degree. And I was just so eager to get in at this point. Let's start with Canada. So in Canada, I applied to all the schools in Ontario, uh, University of Toronto, University of Ottawa, McGill, uh, also University of British Columbia because I was born there and Western and McMaster. So I applied to all those schools. I didn't get a single interview. I, I spent so much time on the OMSAS application, on all the special essays for U of T medical school. Just a whole lot of work and I didn't get in anywhere. I had a GPA of 3.81 which I think is a quite a good GPA and I worked really, really hard to get it. But anyway, I didn't get into Canada. And then in the UK, I decided to be a little bit more strategic. So this time, instead of applying to only the most elite schools I could think of, I applied to Bristol, Kings, Southampton, and Queen Mary's. I ended up getting interviews from Southampton, Bristol, and Kings. Queen Mary's rejected me without an interview. I ended up going to both Bristol and Kings for interviews, but I didn't go to Southampton because I was in Canada, so I had to fly. Uh, to the UK for every interview that I did and I had a lot of assignments and work to do in Canada for my degree because I was trying to balance that at the same time. When my Southampton interview came through I was already accepted into Bristol and I knew that I would choose Bristol over Southampton so there was no point in me going. I emailed one of my professors to let them know that I had an interview three days before their midterm. So I said hey I'm gonna spend the week 
and a half before that, practicing really hard for my interview. So I'm not gonna spend as much time on the midterm. Is it possible to move that midterm back one week? Or if I could skip that midterm and have the waiting push to my final exam? He writes back to me in the email, please see, it was like line 30 of page five of our syllabus. So I go check the syllabus and that line read, no uh, exceptions will be made for students because of poor time management skills. So that was really harsh. Um, nothing got moved, not a single one of my midterms, not a single one of my assignments. I still had to work on those and complete those while preparing for interviews, while flying to a different country, being jet lagged. So that was a really difficult period of my life. But then once I got my acceptance into Bristol, that was the first acceptance that I got. I was so over the moon. I remember I was in the library studying for that chemistry midterm. Um, and after that, I was really relaxed in school. I was really chilled out because I knew that pretty much unless I failed every single course in my last semester, I was gonna be fine. And I was ready to go to Bristol. Bristol, I actually really, really liked the city when I went. I loved all the people that I met. Buildings were pretty, the facilities of the medical school seemed great. And of course, I'd done extensive research on the medical school and the course, and I, I thought it was a good fit for me. But when I got accepted into King's, that was, that was an easy choice for me because King's is in central London, and I'd rather be in London than an outskirt city. My sister studied here. She's, uh, she's currently about to start working as a lawyer. Also, a lot of my high school friends were in London. There were just so many reasons pushing me towards London. So when I got, when I got that acceptance to King's, that was a pretty easy choice for me. Time to go to King's. It's been about six months on the course uh, so far, and I've been enjoying every single moment of it. It's been great. So much more relaxed than my undergraduate degree in Toronto, which might sound a bit weird, right? Because medical school is supposed to be super, super tough. And honestly, I had a way harder time uh, at the University of Toronto. But then again, it is my first year and I'm sure things are going to ramp up starting next year. Other than that, it's been a great course. I've met some really great graduates, which is nice because I'm not alone as, a, as an older student. In the future, I want to make a bunch of videos on my application process to both UK and Canadian medical schools, how I prepare for interviews, just a lot of different topics really. And if you guys have any suggestions for any videos, if there's any topic that you want to know more about, maybe if there's anything that you're unsure of, please feel free to leave a comment and in the video or send me a message and I might make a video about it next time. So yeah, that was just a little bit of information about me, where I am, where I come from, and that's about it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. After getting accepted to all of the undergraduate med- all of the- ah.